Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a super important violin technique, octaves. So to start, what are octaves? So an octave is the interval between a lower note and the higher note of, this, of the same note, but double the frequency. So for example, a C, a low C to a high C. Those are the same notes, but the high C is double the frequency of the low C. So it is a very common violin technique that is used in a lot of virtuosic playing. And today I'm going to teach you to play octaves in three simple steps. So the first thing you want to make sure is that your hand is completely relaxed. So you want to shake your hand off and hold it in its natural hand frame. So if I hold my hand out like this, it is completely relaxed. It's natural. And this hand frame is actually the key to playing violin no matter where you are and keeping a consistent hand frame is key to violin playing but especially key to playing octaves in tune so this natural hand frame now that you're keeping it here there's no tension we just shook our hands out and we are holding it like this next when you place it on the violin you want to make sure that your fingers are kind of forming a flat surface because your fingerboard is a flat surface, you would have to curve the longer fingers down more and your pinky would have to stretch just a little bit, like so. So this is our natural hand frame for any violin playing, but especially the octave hand frame. Now that we have our hand frame in place, we want to play an octave. So the simple one to play is, let's start on the G string, let's play the A. <laughs> And then with the same, to get to the same note, the higher A, you want to put your fourth finger down on the D string. So there you have it, that's an octave. Now, playing the octave isn't the difficult part. Playing it in tune, however, can be difficult if not done correctly. So the key thing to important all the time is that your hand is relaxed, it is not tense. So I'm playing an octave. Now when I am playing an octave, I'm always listening out for the lower note of the two. So I'm always listening out for the first note. This note is much more important and the higher note should be catering towards the lower note. With that being said, the third tip is to glide your fourth finger. When you play octaves, especially an octave scale, your hand will be moving around the fingerboard like so. Now your first finger is the one you're listening out for to tune and your fourth finger is the one that is pressing lighter in the sense that it is gliding to adjust to the first finger and this is important because when you do play let's say a scale up the higher you go on the fingerboard the smaller the distance is between these two fingers so starting in first position they start this much apart and then it gets smaller as you go up so your fourth finger should always be gliding above the string, not pressing lighter because that would make a harmonic sound, but it's gliding because your first finger is the one that you hear the pitch for and your fourth finger adjusts to the first finger so that it's playing in tune. Now it wasn't that simple, it was just three easy steps. Now that you know the three basic steps to playing an octave, here are some notes that you must keep in mind as you play. The first note is when you tune, you want to make sure you hear an extra ringing because for perfect intervals like fifths and octaves, there's actually an extra ring that comes when you play them perfectly in tune. So always listen out for that ring and always pay attention to the bass note, the lower note. That is the one that you want to hear more when you are playing octaves. Bring out the bass note more. I cannot stress that enough. Well, the second thing you always want to pay attention to is that your thumb isn't too tight. 
Your thumb should never be grabbing onto the fingerboard. Should never be tight like this. Your hand should never be grabbing. How you know your hand is tight is you shouldn't see your veins pop out like so. Your hand should be relaxed and when in doubt, always stop what you're doing and shake your hand. Shake it to release it of all the tensions and put it back on the violin. So I'll be practicing octaves. If I feel tight in any way, I take my hand off, shake it, and I put it back on. And that also brings me back to my relaxed, natural position. And now you're ready to practice octaves, and you'll be playing scales in no time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for my next video.